Hi, I'm Jim Sill with EdTech Team, and we're talking today about how to use one of the cardboard devices that we created with Max Cases. Now, there are so many different applications you can use, but one of my favorites happens to be Street View. Now, Street View is made by Google, and it's free from any of the stores, iOS or Android. So if you want to go ahead and download it, I'll walk you through some of my favorite features. Once you have Street View opened up, it's easy to move around. From the menu above, you can choose collections, which is really a lot of the special collections that Google has made from around the world. I mean, there's so many beautiful spots here. You can explore. This is really just, uh, just moving around the map. And anywhere you see these red dots, you'll see 360 degree imagery. The larger the dot, the more imagery there is underneath it. Um, you can come up here to the very top and just type in a place. That zooms you down to a certain part of the map. Now, once you zoom into a certain spots, you see the red dots even more. But in this particular case, like the Palace of Versailles, you not only get to see the palace and the grounds, but if you zoom in a little bit closer, you'll see blue lines. These are the inside street views that Google has created. And in this, in this particular case, you have the Hall of Mirrors. So when I scroll up, you'll see um, a number of different images. Blake Adams, you can see there, has one for the Palace of Versailles. That's an image that this person took while on uh, the grounds. Anywhere you see something that says Google Maps, that means it's Google imagery. That's one of the ones they've created. So I just tap on that, and it opens up. And in this case, we're in the Hall of Mirrors. So I can move this around with my finger, no problem. But what I want to do is tap the image again, and then up in the top right-hand corner, you can see there are two things, one of which looks like Google Cardboard. So I tap that. Now, once I've done that, you can see how the image has doubled. All you simply do is take your phone and put it inside the cardboard, and then I like to fold the cardboard over on top of it, and then I attach the Velcro. Now, just inside here, you'll see there's a white line, and I use my fingers on both sides to move my phone so that white line lines right up with that target. When you're ready, all you have to do is lift it to your face and take a look. When using Google imagery, so these are the street view images that Google has captured, as you move around the image, you'll see an arrow appear. This means I can move through the space using those arrows and the button located on the top of the cardboard. Once you're finished with the space, all you have to do is remove your device from the cardboard, hit the top left-hand arrow to get back. From this screen, you can begin searching other places. Now, one of my favorite things to do is to explore using the map. All I have to do is swipe the imagery down and then move my map around like so, just by touching the screen. Up here in the top right-hand corner, you can hit those four arrows and that will bring you out of that particular space so you can move around the world a little bit easier. And here I can move around and actually go into places that uh, I know imagery exists. So for example here, this peninsula down in Antarctica, as I move down even closer, I can find imagery like here. And you'll see imagery that people have uploaded from down in Antarctica. Unbelievable imagery taking you to places that you wouldn't normally expect to find anything. I hope you enjoy your device. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or suggestions. See ya.